a bloody shootout in Garden of the Gods. Corporal Gonzalez at Ranger Command. Who am I speaking with? This is Rosie Wong at the Sands Lux Apartments. The tap water's brown again! Uh, that's not really our department, Ms. Wong. Can I, uh... Then you go arrest whose department it is! I'm trying to run a business here! My tenants have a right to clean water! Sounds like you're at the Little Vegas, judging by all that noise in the background. Remember, your first order of business is to find Delgado. Maybe somebody in there has seen him. <laughs> While you're at it, if you can prove that Brago made a deal with the Dorseys, feel free to take that bastard down. Best of luck, Rangers. Daisy out. We've got drinks, dancing, and games of chance. Pick your poison. It bops so hard. No more gambling for me. I learned my lesson. I wish I could afford to drink like you. I'm stuck with Boar's Light. Ah. It's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Nose. Farron Brago's capo, leader of men, hero of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. Ah! A tactical masterstroke by yours truly. Imagine two round buttes with a narrow gorge between them. Got that picture in your mind? We lured our enemies into the gorge, then squeezed them from both sides, crushing them between the buttes. A real shitstorm, that's what it was. I'm quite sure there was never a battle of two buttes, Mr. Nose. Sounds like a story you concocted while sitting in the outhouse. Oh, you wouldn't say that if you've been there. I'll never forget the groans, the plops of the fallen, the terrible smell. Not surprised you haven't heard of it. St. Elmo was lost to a fire years ago, sadly. But it was a thriving town before then. Thanks to old Charlie, yep. Don't listen to a word old Charlie says, Rangers. He's the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. <laughs> says the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. 
All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all and all know Charlie. So what can Charlie do for you? El Gato? What? Come on, Charlie, you remember Delgado. Nice guy, family man, way too good for the trash in this place. No way you could miss him. Oh, not like you, Marshall. You blend right in with the rest of us. Sorry, haven't seen him. Old Charlie would tell you if he had. I'm the floor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained, and that they don't wander into the back rooms. I can. Did you mean, will you let us through? In that case, no. Jokes aside, Mr. Brigo doesn't let anyone into the back without his explicit say-so. And we take Mr. Brigo's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him, not me. Until next time, Red Hats. What am I mean? Great. Are you going around? Honey, of course. What do you want? Rum and coke. Oh. Adorable. That's so 2090s. Great choice for hey, nostalgia. Remember factor. how I blew that? I, I just like it. Ooh, we always have a time at Little Vegas. Tennis work. Even if I go home with red hot balls. It's just like hellfire. Welcome to the Little Vegas brothel, friends. Why me? Oh man, I love dancing in this place. You stowed it's away. These stairs lead to Mr. Brago's lounge. He said I should let you guys through. But don't even think about messing with that computer behind me. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken, and there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is, the furnace could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my post for anything. Well, maybe if a fight broke out I would, but nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place, would they? Uh, you're not gonna say I said any of this, are you? Ugh, so Ranger. gaudy. So Welcome to my club. Ostentation. Ah, Rangers, what a pleasure. I heard you were in town. It must be, what, 20 years since we crossed paths. Ah, uh, not that any of you would remember that, of course. You were probably just kids when Vargas and Angela Death and the rest helped me save Vegas. And I hear we have you to thank for Cassidy's fine clothiers being back in business. My capos and I thank you. If not for Cassidy's, we'd have to settle for second-rate suits from the bazaar. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Farron Brigo. Welcome to Little Vegas. My recreation of the glories of the town we lost. Perfect, isn't it? You haven't heard the story? Hey. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Twenty years ago, Vegas was being overrun by robots. A nightmare. Then Angie and Snake and their squad showed up guns a blazing and saved the day. Heroes, every one of them. Helped me consolidate control of the city, too. Of course, fifteen years later, the robots came back and destroyed everything. But you know all about that. They attacked you, too. Anyway. That shared history makes me happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. 
I'm glad you think so. You should have seen it five years ago. Nothing here but the walls, and half of them were falling down. We really worked hard to get where it is today. But enough about me. How are things with the Rangers? Is uh, General Vargas still in charge? I'd love to give him my regards. We owe him and his team a lot. Is that so? <laughs> Way to make a man feel old. But I'm sorry to hear Vargas is gone. He was a great man. Ready to do anything to help the people he'd sworn to protect. Thank you for telling me. I'll raise a glass in his honor tonight. Now, what can I do for you? Certainly. Ask away. What? I don't want those kind of connections. Murder in the streets is bad for business. If I were you, I'd be looking for someone with a grudge against a patriarch. Not exactly a short list, I know, but... I know Delgado, but I haven't seen him. If he came here, he didn't come to see me. What a shame. Nothing I like more than a good grilling. What else can I do for you? Ah, yes. Had that painted for my office back in Vegas. Before the robots came. Not a bad likeness, eh? Thank you, Rangers. That's very flattering. But really. It's not so much that I have an age, but more that the cares and woes of running Vegas back then made me old before my time. Since I've come to Colorado, I feel 20 years younger. Like I said, 15 years after the Rangers saved us, the robots came back. Deadlier than before. We held out as long as we could. But without help from the Rangers, the end was inevitable. As to why we came to Colorado? Well, we heard some rumors of the good work the Patriarch was doing out here. Creating a stable, prosperous society. That's exactly the kind of environment a business like mine needs to flourish. So we packed up our roulette tables and hit the road. Ah... Uh... I know any attempt to recapture the past is doomed to failure, but I had to try. It's not quite Vegas, but it's close. And since I can't go back, this will have to do, won't it? And besides, the customers don't know it's a pale imitation. To them, this is paradise. All of Sin City behind one door. Good luck. I don't know what the boss is thinking running a straight joint. He's leaving no funny business around Mr. Brigo. Got it? Fucking feet hurt. Ugh, tell me about it. Killing me. I am so tired of just standing here. You showed away on an I hate that. I wrote to say this, but you know what? You're all the best friends I could ask. What are you rents doing in here? This is a private party. None of your fucking business. Ah, oh, they're mercs. Happened to be in town when the Dorseys attacked, so we paid them to help us out. Nice to see him putting the Patriarch's money to good use. Defending Colorado Springs and beating those toothless shit-kicker Dorseys to a bloody paste. Local 168, let me hear you! Woo! Yeah? Well, you picked the wrong room. 
Ain't no Delgado here, and no Marshals neither. Ho ho ho! So you've got some cojones! Well, if it's a fight you want, the local 168 are happy to oblige. Ha! You're right. Get out of here, you patty wastes. You ain't worth the glove leather. Thieves. Hey, remember how I blew that Dorsey's brains out? <laughs> Still got some on my shoes. Thought you couldn't work tonight, Darlene. Ah, uh, it's fine. I got a sitter. Not your ex, I hope. He'll drink all your liquor and sell the kid to the scar collectors. Ha <laughs> ha. Little Tammy from next door. She'll still drink all my liquor, but Zach will be safe. Hell yeah! Pussies. Local 168, booyah! Hey, I'm drinking here. We don't. Local 168, booyah! Pussies. You want something? Hell yeah! I went upstairs to get my sh sh shit out of the safe, but B B Boulder and his mercs took my pants and kicked me out before I could get it. No fucking way I'm dealing with that asshole again. But I need that stash or I'm dead. Can you help me? Not my drugs, other people's. Well, mostly. I got deliveries to make. Rhino and F Focus, five each. I owe a lot of money. I don't sell this shit, they'll kill me. In a safe? Up, 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 upstairs? In the private room? Here's the, just watch out for gold. Pussies. Hell Pussies. Yeah! Rhino and five focus. <laughs> Thank you. You saved my life. It's just a little to even me out. <laughs> that, that's all. Around for everyone. Hey there. What do you need? Sorry, chums. Don't know anybody by that name. Can't help you. This is the Little Vegas. A slice of paradise in a freezing shithole. Plenty of sins available for the picking. Just take a look around. Loose lips don't get you far in Mr. Brigo's organization. So... Nope. All the best vices Colorado has to offer. Oh, man. 
Oh, man, I love Rigel's dancing in this place. You can go it's up. the best. But I've heard a rumor you that there's stowed, no You stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? For sure gonna oh my god, tell me everything. Oh, you've never been? You simply must. <laughs> you want to pay for it? My uncle tells me you're a man of questionable morals, Mr. Kwan. Well, that's why I'm on the payroll. Somebody's got to get their hands dirty, so good folk like you can keep your hearts clean. Welcome to Little Vegas, friends. Care to play some blackjack? A small fee gets you a seat at the table and wins pay even money. As you wish. This table's always you, hot. You stowed Somebody away on an Arapaho convoy? Oh my god. Tell me everything. Uh, it was, uh, Mr. Harris it was is back dirty. tonight, Joy. He was asking for you. Either of you want to take Mr. Lovett and his wife? Ugh. Mr. Lovett's all right. But his wife just stares at you like she's got... Thought you couldn't work tonight, Darlene. Oh. Hey, Quan. Looking for a good time, I assume. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Kendall, Colorado Springs' finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. Delgado, Delgado. You know, that name sounds really familiar, but remembering is going to be hard work. Uh, the kind of work a man should be paid to do. Kendall, you predictable son of a bitch. I need serious cash. Any less, and it isn't worth the risk. Shit! I knew I should have asked for more. All right. Don't tell anyone I told you. But Delgado was sniffing around the club, asking too many questions about the Dorseys. Last I saw, Charlie Knowles was pulling him into the back rooms behind the bar. God damn it! Now Daisy's gonna want Brigo dead. 
and she won't take no for an answer. Yeah, okay, bye. Having fun? Alcohol's nice, but it's the company you that makes it away on an Hello account. again, red hats. Well, ain't you a clever seed of red hats. But let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that door is through a hail of bullets. And no one wants that, right? Look, it wasn't Mr. Brigo who conspired with the Dorseys. He's not that stupid. But a little bird told me it was someone in our organization. I can give you a name. All you gotta do is prove this guy was acting on his own. Way I see it, everybody wins. You get your culprit, and we don't get in trouble with the law. Once you clear Mr. Brigo's name, I'm sure he'll release Delgado. Look for our man McTavish at the machine shop near Pillory Square. I don't care what you do to him, but if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved, I'm sure we can make a deal, yeah? Also, I didn't tell you this, Red Hats. Till next time, Red Hats. Oh, man, I you love it. stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? But oh I've heard a rumor tell that there's an exclusive everything. secret dance party up at Aspen. Marshals to let you through. Come find me here. 